Hello everyone, Nick Marzinski here at D3 Technologies with our Coffee and Cam Tech Tip. This week we're going to take a look at how to use sketches to contain our toolpaths in uh, turning operations. So on this part file, actually one thing I do want to point out is the extents of this spun profile will be ignored as long as you have, so for instance if I highlight this toolpath you can see it machines up to that shadow point which is where this would be as it's spun. So the way to ensure that you don't inter or collide with the model is to have that spun profile turned on in your job setup. With that turned on, um, the way I'm going to contain this profile here is with a sketch. So you can see I'm machining down to that spun profile by default. Well later on I'm going to come down and do some mill work to machine that area. So there's my roughing and there's my finishing tool paths for that uh, shape. But I don't want to have to remachine that, so I don't really need my profile operation to come down as deep as it does in this operation. So I'm going to go back to the model, find a plane that intersects the center of my model which in this case is this XZ plane. Let's do a new sketch there, and I like to use the tool Project Cut Edges. That's going to project all the geometry where that plane intersects the center of my model. And then from there I'm going to just draw, let's see, I do want it to include this radius, so I'm going to grab the end point of that fillet, come straight over till it meets with my edge over here, draw a point there, and then come down to this point. That looks pretty good. So let's finish that sketch, come back into my cam browser, and let's edit that roughing turn toolpath. So right now you can see I've got it confined between this edge here and the front face here with rust machine turned on because I already faced off that material. And so by default, it's going to come down to our spun profile, which is this yellow line right here. I want it to machine only to this area here. It's going to save a little bit of time so I can come through with that mill toolpath like I showed earlier, and that'll clean that area out. So the way to do this is to turn on the model. So now it's looking for model contours. I'm just going to select this edge, and it does a closely profile. And similar to containing toolpaths in the milling environment, we select that profile again. That puts us in the edit mode. I'm going to tell it open contour, and let's guide it down this way, and then to right there, and then hit the check mark. Oops. Let's try that again. Clear. Select. Select it a second time. Tell it open, and let's just trace, and then click the check mark. There we go. So we've got that as our confinement now under the model contours, not to be confused with the confinement down here. Let's say OK, and now you can see my toolpath is contained to that sketched line. So then you can come down and you'd have your roughing operation with the uh, with the end mill. So hopefully that helps you guys. Are able, and you, you can see that we've got these X's over here. You just need to regenerate those. That was due to uh, modifying the model and drawing that sketch in there. It just needs to recalculate those toolpaths. So hopefully that helps you guys and uh, look for more.